big for a 150 scale. I think they're more like uh, 143, or maybe even slightly bigger. And these are your racing trucks. A 143, possibly 146 scale. Stop whining, please. Thank you. Maxwell Freight with a Titanic mm -hmm. RMS Titanic from Oregon Wolf. It's not the first time I've dropped things. In the sick John Boy. Damage done, thank goodness. Sorry about that, I'm still a little bit of feet. Now, this lorry is actually running about Northern Ireland, Belfast in particular, with the paint job, and at the truck fest that we had here in Northern Ireland back in. August. Um, these trucks are retailing at about 40 45 pounds. And for any of our friends across the pond, that's about uh, 65 to 70 dollars just for this cab unit. And the registration is T100 HWB T100 Arlen Wolf Belfast Titanic 100 years old. On this side is Mr. Harland and Mr. Wolf themselves, I hope, and a couple of ship workers. And actually, this is depicting the back end of the boat with the screwed propellers. And here is a famous crane's by Cruff. Just about make them out on the back, and they're named Samson and Goliath. And they're now a Northern Irish monument or national treasure. Now, there's also a small plaque on the back of this, and don't let me drop it again, please. I'm singing to myself here. I'll see if I can read it for you. No, it's too, it's a bit small. Oh, and that is a picture of Thomas Andrews, a designer, and the captain. Um, was it Smith, his name was? And the writing there is uh, White Star Lines RMS Titanic. Also, there is some writing here. Right here, but oh, I'm a bit too old. I can't see it. Get under some sort of decent light. Now just under the grill, above the lights. Again, very difficult to make out. Titanic 100 years, Harlan and Wolf Belfast. No, the writing's too small, don't know what it says. 
very it's getting a bit dusty. This is because chaps sad to say put them in the garage. And as you heard tinkling in the background there is my heating system for the house, which is wood pellets. And they're a bit of a cold because I spent most of Saturday, sorry, Sunday actually, cleaning the boiler, which I have to do every few months. I clean the ash out. No hardship, there's nothing difficult about it, it's just a bit messy. It's life when you're in the boiler business, which I have been on my life. So just a uh, few more bits and pieces. There's some colour transit van, cement mix from Mercedes, two old namesake, Johnny Walker, Scotch whiskey, some old tankers, the RFs from Corgi Classics. Cups going in behind. Uh, what's that? I'm on and a, and a Renault Magnum. I'm just sitting on top for nowhere to go. It's a P38 Range Rover. Down the front again, another Volvo, Volvo uh, GS Gordon and Son, gravel, sand distributors here in Lisbon, Northern Ireland. And a few pulp, bulk powder lorries, mainly cement, and the forge. And turners and just a white Daff XF. I was actually going to pull that apart and make it into a flatbed recovery lorry with a winch and flatbed with a beaver tail and a couple of ramps on it. And if I could find a high hub to fit in, it wouldn't have been too bad. Just like one I'm making in real life, which I'll have to get a few photographs up on so you can see. And another couple of uh, rigids, uh, HEP and countrywide. Hope this is coming out all right. This looks a bit bright here. Um, sorry, lads, but my favourite cars, Range Rover and Defenders. Yeah, Land Rovers in general. So I still have two Range Rovers. I'm trying to get rid of one at the minute. The older one, a P38. I'm actually trying to get rid of. Was on. A real vehicle, 1995 model, uh, one of the first out, manual gearbox, diesel, and running very well, and very well looked after, must have been. The other wee, wee Tarex Digger PC, um, what's that, PC 120, uh, 210, sorry, and silver. And then what do you say, you say, is it they say, they say. Scale. I mean, not John Deere dumper is supposed to be a 150 scale, but it looks absolutely massive to compared with everything else. Maybe it is. Maybe she could add on the back of the uh, low loader. Take the high risk, high reach case off. But here's my 18th scale P38 Range Rover. Towing a trailer was a Mark II RS1600. And Rothman's colours were a revatten and jolly car from 79, 80. A revatten and very, very good in Europe for rallying. And then the car that I have now is an L322. Range Rover, although mine is in blue, it's outside. There's a wee case dozer, which is quite small, and two 528 and a 648 log skitters. And the reason I have them is they were the first models I ever bought of this scale, a 150 scale, and I had them because 10, 12. 1999, I was working in West Africa, in a wee country called Liberia, logging for a living. And that's what I had was two skitters of 548, sorry, 528 and 648. It's a Captain John Deere. Great machines, both of them. 
both had their good points and their bad points, but I think it was more good than bad. Very well impressed. Well, there's a wee overview of what I have. I've moved the bikes, shifted the bike, cleaned them up, um, dusted them off a wee bit, derigged most of the cranes, which you've probably seen in previous um, videos. Thanks for watching. If you want to uh, subscribe, please press the button. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, no matter how good or bad, doesn't matter to me. I'll not take offence. Thanks very much for watching. Bye.